Good morning to everyone. So today's workshop is the face recognition using the mat words on the Raspberry Pi. So let's begin with the Raspberry Pi and the MATLAB. So this project is to identify and verify individuals based on their facial features using the MATLAB software platform and implementing on the Raspberry Pi device. So let's begin with the first slide. Okay, so let's begin with the agenda. So first we are covering the introduction, then development and the deployment of the phase and the conclusion. So let's, okay, let's start with the introduction. The face recognition is the popular application for the computer vision and the machine learning that is used for the practical uses for the security system and to personalize user experiences. So. MATLAB is offered uh, in many kind of platforms using for the development and deployment for the face, face recognition uh, algorithm by using the MATLAB. So uh, here we are starting with the Raspberry Pi based system that is the combination of hardware and software allowing for the powerful cost effective solution that is cons cus customized to meet uh, specific requirements. So by using the MATLAB and the Raspberry Pi, developers can easily experiment with the different face recognition techniques and optimize the performance and create innovative, innovative uh, applications that utilize the latest uh, advancement in the computer vision and the machine learning. So. So for this project, we need some kind of required hardware. First is the Raspberry Pi hardware, then second one is the power supply, then third is the USB cable, fourth is the SD card or else you can use the pen drive and the camera board that is attached it with the Raspberry Pi. So first, you have to install with the MATLAB package to support the Raspberry Pi. So first, you have to open the MATLAB and the home tab, select once, add once and get add once. This is the starting of the MATLAB and you have to search for the MATLAB Raspberry Pi support package that you have to install first then accept all the agreements and then you have to finalize with the setup and choose the setup now so first you have to set the setup with the matlab interface interference with the raspberry pi by using the server using the raspberry pi software raspberry pi hardware so first you have to see the first screen select the raspberry pi and click the next button then select the setup hardware and download that deep learning image and find out the downloaded image and the first thing you have to unzip it this is the first uh, criteria after downloading and then after that you have to use the validate image by using the validate button so next Next, we have to set up with the connection that is very important to set up the connection in the four kind of things. You can use the different kind of connection, connection but uh, it's an easy to connect with the wireless network that is uh, you have to choose with the SSID and the password that is the board of, of the PC and you can use your home network to connect with the Raspberry Pi. This is the important uh, main part of the project because if you if you wanted to connect with the wireless connection, so it will be automatically get the IP addressed from clicking the next button. So this is kind of uh, the main important part of the uh, MATLAB. Okay, guys, let's start with the installation with the MATLAB to support the package with the Raspberry Pi. So firstly, we need to open this 
this tab after installation with the MATLAB so in the left side you can see that how to do the setup firstly you have to open the MATLAB home tab and select the add one and get add one so uh, firstly you have to search with the MATLAB so this is the starting you can see that image we have to open this add one and then you have to go with the manage add add one so we can get the package and we can get the uh, actual uh, installation with the MATLAB Raspberry Pi support package so you have to install it and accept all the agreements and set up it now then after that you have to get the setup with the MATLAB so this is the starting of the Raspberry Pi to set up the Raspberry Pi this is the important structure of our project so firstly you have to see the screen of the Raspberry Pi and then you have to select the next button to set up with the hardware of the Raspberry Pi image so you have to download after that you have to download with the deep learning and then you have to find the download image and you have to unzip it this is the first criteria of uh, of our project so this is the setup of the MATLAB by using the Raspberry Pi so after that you have to validate the image button and then you have to do it the next and then you can get the another thing after doing the next button you have to select the drive over here so you have to refresh it again and again while getting the drive uh, to uh, recognize our laptop screeny you have to attach with firstly you have to attach with the laptop and then you have to get the drive if, if you if you have the pen drive you can use it if you have the sd card you also can use it so i used in my project that is the pen drive that is easy and uh, like don't have any kind of manner to connect it after that this is the setup with the connection so this is the important thing so i used the connection you can use the connection with the wire with the home network you can connect with the wireless network you can connect directly to the host computer that is with the ethernet cable and the manually enter the network setting this is the setup of the connection and that is the very important for the setup begins so you have to use the wireless if you are using the wireless configuration so you need to connect with this so uh, for you have to go with the setting of the computer uh, and then you have to get the uh, network and internet then you have to go to the mobile hotspot then you have to you have, you have to edit over here like whatever the name is of the project and then like your name or some like a password and you have to open uh, mo you have to open the uh, like click on the mobile hotspot that is the important because this is the scenario if you do, do not do this then the connection will be will be get the failed and you get the error after you are doing it so this is the actual setup with the setting then uh, after that you can click with the uh, automatically get IP address that is uh, the main impact of this um, um, wireless configuration after that you have to remove the sd card you have to remove the pen drive and you have to connect with the matlab and you have to connect with the matlab after that you have to connect with the matlab no you have to connect with the raspberry pi and the pen drive at this uh, at this point and then you have to uh, connect with the USB cable that everything uh, with the USB cable with the Raspberry Pi and the Ethernet cable you if you wanted to use or else you can use the wireless connection so first let's start with the coding and to connect with the MATLAB that is the first thing so here is the actual setup of the MATLAB so firstly you have to gave the commands to the window uh, command window uh, to the every time because this is the actual thing uh, to start with the uh, to connect the raspberry pi to the matlab so firstly you have in the you have to write in the command window this first line 
then the right LED and the right LED 1 and the right LED 0. To read the LED lights you have to use it and then after you have to use the camera board to run the actual camera processing process. So in the right in the in this window you can see that the connection of um, how to uh, write it and you have to see the workplace over here and then after you have to click in the command window clear that is the main impact of this uh, command window after that you have to copy this uh, code uh, by using uh, the like commands in the first uh, first window you can see over here the camera shot over at the at this and you have to make it in this uh, in this uh, window this window and then after you can start with the continuing slides so if you do the continue after running the program you can see the actual output of this so this is the actual thing so you can see that the camera is totally work okay let's start with the actual connection firstly let me introduce about the raspberry pi so you can see this this is the raspberry pi this is the camera this is the usb this is the pen drive this is the ethernet cable and this is the usb cable so for the connection firstly you have to connect the raspberry pi with the usb cable then you have to connect the camera with this cable then you have to uh, connect the raspberry pi with the ethernet cable and this is the import important structure of this raspberry pi for the connection you can see this one so let's begin with the coding firstly you can see this you can see this uh, this is the command window that we have to set all the raspberry pi setup with this then you have to start with the setting with the raspberry pi by using the SS, accessible uh, this window and then you have to use the workspace over over here so let's start with the command window we have to run this code that i already mentioned in the pre presentation so this is the actual code code of the face detection so you need to uh, think about this code and you have to implement on this MATLAB so this is the actual structure with the MATLAB we have to use it so firstly you have to open this file and you have to click it over here then you have to run this code and see what happens so in the command window you can see this okay so let's see that whatever we get the output see this is the actual camera that able to see and recognize the face and this is the actual output of our project so this is slow because of the MATLAB we have to install a lot of things over here that's why it is slow but now we can see the face detection over here this is the actual output of our uh, project so yeah thank you so okay guys thank you so much for watching this video this workshop hope you will do well and thank you so much for being in this video uh, i hope it will easy to understand the matlab and the actual coding of the language so i think that uh, while using the python or or else we are using the uh, matlab it's an easy to detect the face by use by uh, using the actual um, to solve the problem of the face recognition so yeah thank you so much have a great day